Okay, guys, welcome back to the draw for the semi-final. Um, that are the four armies which prevailed and survived so far. That are the forces of Zinj, represented by Zinj Sorcerer. The forces of the Tyranids, represented by a Termagant. The forces of the Elder, represented by, by a Warlock. And finally, the forces of Nurgle, represented by a Plague Marine. So just a short recap of the quarterfinal. Yeah. Starting from the left, yeah. uh, the forces of Zinj were really lucky. Yeah because they succeeded in uh, outrunning the slower forces of the Necrons and um, one of the main disadvantages of the Necrons was that they don't have any sustained fire weapons. Yeah, yeah. They have no output, fire output. And you or I was really lucky in not getting gunned down by one of your destroyers mm. because I had four wounds and you rolled a three on a... Yeah, that was really close yeah. with the Psycho on his flying mm -hmm. disc, yeah. But uh, I think that was a great uh, boon for you, that you got a Psycho, which has very potent psychic powers. Yeah. Um, Although short-ranged. Yeah. But of but uh, due to his uh, flying disc, he yeah, can almost reach every part of the battlefield yeah. in no time. He oh. made up for the lack of his old pistol yeah. ballistic <laughs> Okay. The next one is really interesting. We like the tournaments very much, and in the first game, they burned the uh, Elder Harlequins into oblivion. Mm -hmm. Last time, they succeeded in killing, uh, which the opponents might have uh, really enjoyed, the forces of Slanesh. Um, it was ah, it was the game battle. with extra yeah. time. Yeah, I remember. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. One of the most exciting yeah. ones in round seven, where uh, it was difficult to, to decide to figure which out side yeah, yeah, which might have won. Points. The, the half turn succeeded, or one of the others succeeded, in forcing the army commander of Slanesh to use his, his displacer, displacer field yeah, and then <laughs> displaced off the target. <laughs> yeah, but they prevailed and went on to yeah. the semi final. Although Slanesh was really great. Yeah. And Elder were really, yeah, they were really great. And I think they killed all of their enemies without any yeah, problems. They played against Korn, and yeah. I think oh, the Elder Force is very strong because of their two mm -hmm. Exarchs, uh, which uh, one of them can shoot excellently, yeah. and the other one is highly mobile and can punch almost any opponent in close combat. And they've got a level 4 cycle as, yeah, well. as well. In their first game, in the, the round of 16, they killed the uh, Gene Stealer Force. Gene Stealer Cult. Gene Stealer yeah. Cult Force without any problems. Yeah. I think most of the Elder Warriors uh, haven't even been touched by enemy fire. Yeah. In round 2, I think most of the Elder Guardians with their Shuriken catapults haven't even shot a single yeah. Shuriken. Yeah. The forces of Korn had no chance yeah. at all. And finally... Now we've got the forces of Nurgle. Oh, lovely friends of the Death I, God. I, if somebody had asked me yeah, to put money yeah, to, to, to do a bet on the outcome of the game, I would have said it's uh, the squads yeah, in the round of 16, because the squads have more heavy and special weapons, stuff like that. But in the end, I think uh, the huge and mighty Land Raider succeeded uh -huh. in killing the army commander, one of the single mobile squad models, mm. and therefore they got into the, the round of eight where they succeeded in, in killing, killing the orcs. The yeah, and it was close as well. Green against green. <laughs> if, if the, the orcs had, hadn't suffered uh, the loss of another assault bike, uh. there was one trike left or stuff like that. Yeah, and they got the luck that yeah. the warp portal appeared in their deployment yeah. zone of the Nurgle forces, so that's... Uh... And, and if he had played a uh, seventh round, they would have died for sure. Yeah. Uh, I agree. Okay, but nevertheless, those four armies prevailed. And as before, um, for the draw, for the quarterfinal, 
I will mix them up and mm. hide them beneath cups and Marcus will <laughs> choose the yeah. carpets. Hey guys, I prepared the cups and now Marcus, please come in. And Marcus will now draw the first game of the semi-final. <laughs> uh, so choose I'm, two cups. I'm, I'm really scared of it because if um, <laughs> the Elder are great army and they are the natural uh, guardians of the red way, but if they have to face Turinids as the enemies with their mm, 24 Gargoyles with minus two <laughs> armor safe, they might probably okay. be dead. So let's see who goes first. The first army will be of the semi-final. The forces of the Turnits. Oh, 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 I hope I don't. Okay. Choose versus pa. the forces of Zinch. Okay. So now the two other yeah. combatants must be obvious, yeah. but nevertheless, Marcus will <laughs> reveal it. Okay, the forces of Nurg Nurgle versus the forces of Elder. I think they're going to die a horrible death, but you can't be sure. Yeah. Okay, that's one game of the semi-final, mm -hmm. Death Guard versus the Elder, and the other so, game, the Turnets versus the forces of Zinch. So I'd say they're going to win for sure. My army, of course. And well, it's going to be difficult because they are really, they are really great. Yeah, but I think that, in but, this case we have yeah. both armies with yeah. a Psyker this time. Yeah. Because the hive turned has this psychic scream, which could yeah. be really harm the yeah. uh, Tinge Psyker. And they have a very potent level 4 Psyker mm -hmm. as well. So it would be very interesting, uh, yeah. the this outcome of this. The more interesting game, I think. Probably, but we never yeah. know. Okay, thanks for all your likes and all your comments. And we're looking forward to the semifinals. Bye bye!